Today we are joined by uh, Mr. Surangal Vips, uh, the president of Palau. And uh, um, it's very nice of him to give us some time. I was really lucky to share a table with him yesterday at Zayed Sustainability Prize Awards and reception. And I learned a lot about his beautiful country, Palau. Um, I, I loved it so much, the description. I feel like visiting it. Mm, come and visit. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned from you and uh, your colleague uh, finance minister that it's a small island nation and it is very much susceptible to the climate change. So if you could tell us more about that. We're absolutely uh, victims of climate change. We live it every day. Um, we have uh, storms that we didn't used to have, the typhoons we call it in the North Pacific. Uh, we've had three in the past decade. Uh, we have droughts. Uh, we have, uh, that we didn't used to have, an extreme heat, yeah. which uh, has impacted our marine life. Uh, coral bleaching and also our jellyfish, which are well known around the world, that they're stingless that you swim with. Uh, for the Oceans Conference in April, there were 30 million. Right now, if you go, there's zero. Uh, this cycle has, has become more frequent because the heat has, has, has yeah. become more frequent. So we're living it. And then not only that, the sea level rise is affecting our shorelines, our coast, Islands are disappearing and shrinking. And you know, one of the things I, I, I always say is we're losing the turtle, we're losing the fish, but also we're losing islands, which means we will lose culture, we will lose languages, because we have multiple islands, and some of those islands have their own languages, but they also have a chief system. So they have chiefs. So if that, if that island disappears and that chief moves to our big island, is he still a chief? Uh, so those are those are so you know we shouldn't we as a as a people of the world should take responsibility and do all we can to contribute to keeping below 1.5 keeping to 1.5 uh, alive and, and transitioning to net zero. Yeah. So I mean that's that's what this uh, sustainability week is all about and you know we're here we're excited we're hoping that uh, you know positive things will happen. And this momentum will continue to COP28. I mean, we're excited about uh, UAE hosting mm. because they're really a leader when it comes to energy yeah. and, and the transition. And that's a, such a huge part of all of this. Yeah. I mean, we can conserve our oceans, we can protect the forest, but if we don't get the energy solved, where are we? So all of these have to be working together. Yeah. 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 yeah so I want to ask Mr. Vips uh, that how was the outcome of uh, Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week so far for your country and uh, what are the, uh, you already mentioned a few things, but what are the specific areas you will be looking at uh, in COP28? I'm sure loss and damage would be one of those. Uh, and I think I will also ask, maybe it will help him enhance his answer that what they are already doing and where they are lacking support um, so that would be very valuable a very exciting week i mean just being here feeling the energy and the excitement and really uh, especially because uh, the uae is hosting cop uh, 28 i think makes this uh, sustainable week even more special uh, more more there's there's definitely uh, interest in building those partnerships, strengthening them. Uh, we were at uh, the IRENA uh, meeting prior to the Sustainability Week, which is all, it's all about uh, transition, transformation, and uh, uh, learning uh, the opportunities that are out there, making partnerships, that's what it's, this week has been about. And we're very optimistic that uh, we can make some impactful changes at home between now and COP28. Maybe get some projects going, that help us in that transition that we all uh, know is critical for keeping below 1.5 and moving toward net zero. So um, we're looking forward to COP28. COP28 is going to be about uh, adaptation, mitigation, uh, hopefully implementation of loss and mitigation, and really unlocking that financing potential. I mean, that's what part of uh, Sustainable Week is talking about, is it's really connecting financing with projects and making it happen. You know, it's been a lot of talk. Uh, but we've got to provide our children with hope that it's, we've got to stop the talking and we're actually going to hit the ground running. And, and, and COP28 28 is about implementation and this sustainability week is about 
launching that, uh, moving that momentum to get that implementation going. So, thank you. That's amazing. Uh, so that was such an optimistic, outstanding um, insights. Uh, Mr. Vips uh, shared with us and uh, I think his energy is so infectious that I'm going to feel really positive rest of the day. But he's right, for our kids we definitely need to take action now and um, th this is one of the efforts we want to do is focus more on small, small island nation. Uh, let the world know uh, because in our home, sitting in our home, we do not realize how climate um, change is very visible in their nations mm. and uh, we all need to understand that so that it becomes really very um, uh, important and urgent action for us uh, so um, uh, mr. president I want to ask uh, just one last question that our sustainability tribe where we educate um, common people about climate change and climate action and uh, we do have um, uh, different profiles right from professionals youth students uh, really a great mix of community mm. and for our community what uh, what would be your few words to guide them or inspire them we believe at home in Palau that God gave us a beautiful planet and we should be good stewards and good stewards uh, is really what we've practiced for thousands of years, whether it's our oceans. On our oceans, Palau is, is very um, aggressive in protecting its oceans. Uh, we have the largest marine sanctuary. We protect our mangroves, our seagrass beds, our forests. Uh, and, 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 you know, I encourage young people to do their part. Uh, to, and sometimes it's the older generation that it's hard for them to make change. And, I, and I, I spoke at a youth forum earlier. Um, for example, for thousands of years, we've eaten turtles. So as a conservation effort to help in the sustainability of turtles, we said, let's focus on the young people. Let's teach them that turtles are our friends. And we can get much more from tourists seeing turtles than eating them. And so investing in our children, getting our youth uh, understanding, because they have, they're creative, they have innovative ideas. They know how to do things better. Mm. We just need to unlock that potential and, and, and use them. At the Our Oceans Conference in Palau, mm. one of the things we did was, at many of these conferences, the youth is a separate fun, a separate event. Mm. But at the Our Oceans Conference, which we had 70 countries there, uh, co-hosting with the United States, we said the youth delegates are going to be part of every event. Yeah. So they were on the panels. Okay. So there will always be a youth uh, representative on the panel and I think that's about inclusivity yeah. you know one of the things that uh, you know I, I applaud UAE for uh, in hosting COP next year is they talk about inclusivity yes. it's about getting everybody involved and the youth are a big part of that it's a youth the elderly everybody because yes. uh, we are we have to be responsible stewards uh, and we have to find that balance between protection production uh, you know and I most importantly it should be about people planet before profit, okay. right? So uh, let's um, work together to be good stewards and protect yes. our, our planet uh, for our children. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, what you said, the last thing was so inspiring and so relevant for all of us. We all create climate change. Mm. So obviously we all have a role to play over there. Uh, in terms of mitigation and uh, working towards keeping under 1.5. So thank you so much for your time again. And it was my pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was, it was our, my pleasure too.